and his debut album, Operation Pastrami Sandwich, is available everywhere. Please welcome Max Cohen. There we go. Hello, good to see everyone. We still breathing at the Friars Club? Everyone's still, still kicking? Good. Yeah, uh, I'm 33 years old. Turned, turned my Jesus year. That's it. There we go. Couple history majors. Fantastic. Yeah, my whole goal this year: don't piss off any Italians or Jews. That's what I want. If I can make 12 friends along the way, great success. A lot of people tell me I look young for my age, which is very nice. I like to think I look young, and I owe that all to my wife. Thanks to her, I learned moisturizer doesn't just go on my hands. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm married. My wife is Russian, which is uh, terrifying. You know why? I've never heard anyone say, I used to be with a Russian. <laughs> she came up to me the other day. She was like, Max, I think I want to take boxing lessons. I said, why? You already win every argument. <laughs> what more do you need? It's true. Whenever we vote on something, I always lose, but by like way wider margins than I thought I would. <laughs> like even with the dog, I would expect two to one that I lose. And I'm like, honey, why do I always lose these votes so badly? My wife just says, well, you forget the 20,000 in Wisconsin. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There we go, the rolling laughter, it sinks in. Perfect joke. That's good. <laughs> my wife doesn't have any siblings. She has no siblings. So she doesn't get that I speak to my two younger sisters very differently than I speak to anyone else. If you have siblings, I think you know this. I got off the phone with one the other day, and my wife just said, are, are you angry at your sister? You just yelled at her that your parents never loved her. And I was like, yeah, it's her birthday. <laughs> It's what you do. She gets me. She gets me every year because no one is meaner than a sibling. Every year my sister sends me a birthday card with a cute little joke on the front. And on the inside it says, Max, you probably think this joke is funny. But it's not. Because you're not funny. Happy birthday. Every year. No one's meaner than a sibling. It's great. No heckler will ever be as mean as Erica. <laughs> We adopted a dog, my wife and I. We had to adopt. You have to adopt. My wife is too old to give birth naturally. <laughs> we have a pit mix at home. By which I mean it's a pit bull mixed with more pit bull. It's part pit, the way I'm part Jewish. Like, yes, part of me is Jewish. The other part, very Jewish. <laughs> I have a great chiropractor I can re recommend to all of you. Good. It's great. I, uh, I, it's, it's a lot of fun because I never had a pet growing up. I never had any dogs or cats or anything. And friends tell me that they used to get pets when they were younger because it was a nice way to learn about the cycle of life and death. And I never got that talk as a kid. The talk I got was my mom sat me down when I was seven and said, Max, let me tell you about the time the Nazis tried to kill your grandparents. <laughs> That's how I learned. It's great. I am uh, I'm very obsessed with my dog right now. I love him to death. I have pictures of him all over my cubicle wall at my day job. So much so, I have all pictures of my dog, none of my wife. So everyone knows I'm obsessed with this animal. And I've had one guy come up to me and he's like, Max, you seem pretty obsessed with that animal. Have you ever thought about getting a girlfriend? I was like, I have, but I think my wife might have some problems with it. She might not like it. I live here in New York, and when I moved here, uh, I remember people were really excited for me. And people were like, oh my god, New York City, anything is possible. And that's true, but that's also the wrong tone. Because a few months after I moved here, yeah, I saw a guy relieving himself behind a mailbox. And I was like, oh. Anything is possible. That's how they should tell you that when you move to this city. Just, anything is possible, watch out. And I found over the years, I made a lot of friends who came here because they felt like they didn't belong in their communities. They just, they just didn't feel safe, they didn't feel welcome. And I think as a New Yorker, we never really asked the question, 
where are you from, what's your background, gay, straight, whatever, it doesn't matter. Our biggest question is, are you in my way? <laughs> I think that's all we care about. And if you're not, then you're good to stay here as long as you want. I think that's why no one cares when a guy goes to the bathroom behind a mailbox. He's not holding anyone up. You're still getting to the subway. It's the subway that holds us up. That's the problem. This guy's all right. He's good. He's fine by me. I will say, thank goodness I'm married because now I no longer need wingmen. We know wingmen here, right? Very simple job. They're your friends that talk you up to the pretty girl and then distract the friends. And that's it. But uh, my friends were terrible wingmen. They were idiots. They'd walk up to a girl and be like, yeah, Max is great for a guy who cries at the movies. <laughs> Doesn't help. Doesn't help. And also, Toy Story 3 was amazing. <laughs> Right, that scene where they're holding hands going down the incinerator? Who doesn't lose their mind at that? I'm not apologizing, that's a beautiful moment. When you have a wingman, you want someone who supports you and wants you to succeed. I'd want my mom. My mom would be a great wingman, she'd be a wing mom. She'd walk right up to a group of girls, you know, you should really sleep with my boy Max. <laughs> Very funny, does the whole comedy thing. And if he's anything like his father, has some skills and attributes a lady's looking for, eh? Eh? Come on! <laughs> Awkward? Absolutely. But if it seals the deal, that's what matters. And if it doesn't, I have a ride home. <laughs> so, win-win. Guys, I'm Max Cohen. Thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful night. Max Cohen, ladies and gentlemen.